Hello guys and welcome back to episode 10 of Writing for Dreams. This is actually the last episode so there will be some time skips that I do in there but you guys will know for sure. But uh, we are back with Olivia along with Lucas and Isabella. They are all still in the hospital. Olivia hasn't given birth yet. As you can see she is actually on a bouncy ball while the ball still she is trying to give birth the last time she checked how dilated she was the doctor had said for seven meters so she is going to be on this ball for a bit and take a walk before she gets checked again to see how dilated she is later so it is about tuesday around 6 a.m and the doctors are checking again to see how dilated olivia is so we will have to see how far she has gotten so after getting checked, Dr. Powell told Olivia that she is actually 9 centimeters and she is almost there. So she at least knows that this baby is coming out today on Tuesday, maybe probably in the afternoon or in the morning, but she's still got one centimeter to go. So she's going to head back on that walk that she was going to do with Lucas. One hour later. Olivia is getting checked one more time after finishing her walk with Lucas and it seems Dr. Ball has some help because Olivia is getting close to getting fully dilated and actually Dr. Ball just told Olivia she is fully dilated and it is actually 4 p.m. so it looks like the child is about to be born right now eventually after some time it looks like olivia is finally ready she is giving birth lucas is supposed to be helping but he's panicking and her mom went to downstairs to sit with her dad since her dad was getting a little bit nervous so she heard that mom is not able to be here with her here comes the baby come on olivia you could do it but here is the baby guys and oh my god oh my gosh guys so here is the baby the baby is actually a boy and Olivia and Lucas have picked out a name finally they had come up with two names one if it was a girl and one if it was a boy and if it was a girl they were gonna call the girl Emily but since it is a boy they are going to call this child Benjamin so Ben for short but welcome to the world Ben Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's, he's little and so tiny. Oh my gosh. The next morning. So we are back on Wednesday morning. Olivia and Lucas have made it home finally. They had to stay the rest of the night on Tuesday at the hospital. So they have finally made it home and they have brought Ben home finally. But he's a little bit upset because he is dirty. But Olivia is taking care of all of that and also making sure that he looks absolutely cute and wearing the onesie that Isabella had gotten him. But Olivia has finally finished feeding Ben and now she is rocking Ben to sleep. But he is going to enjoy his first night at home and then he'll have his first full day tomorrow at home home but it is so cute but eventually his grandparents are gonna come visit him they did see him at the hospital on tuesday when he was born so they were extremely happy about that lucas has just finished making some soup because he wanted to make sure that olivia at least is getting some nice and warm soup to help her body heal and to also get ready for all of that milk that she's about to produce and everything so he is trying his best to help her as much as he can so he has made some soup and they are all actually going to eat this while Ben is asleep upstairs. Olivia was able to finally join Lucas as just as he finished his meal to the soup. Hopefully she is hoping to finish this, get a nice hot shower and head to sleep and get a little bit of sleep before Ben wakes up again that night. But it is in the afternoon right now. So hopefully Ben will sleep part of the afternoon before but Olivia is hoping to get some sleep in before so since she just finished Lucas is actually going to go ahead and put the rest of the meal away meanwhile so while Olivia is taking a nap Lucas is actually cleaning up we've got some bottles he's going to go ahead and clean up and come back into the room to sit but Lucas is going to go ahead and hold Ben a little bit because he has not been able to hold Ben at all since he got home since he's been taking a nap 
But I believe Lucas is definitely feeling happy about this, and he's finally getting to spend some time with Ben while Olivia gets to sleep. Olivia has just walked in, and she is giving Lucas a kiss on the cheek and saying, thank you so much for letting me sleep. I know you are extremely tired, but why don't you go ahead and get some sleep now, and I will take care of Ben. And so Lucas is saying thank you, and he is going to go ahead and sleep, and Olivia is actually going to go ahead and bring breastfeed Ben because it is time for another feeding for him. After feeding Ben, Olivia has decided to change from her pajamas into something a little bit more comfortable and still easy for her to feed Ben in and she has decided to finally come down to eat dinner because it is actually about 8 p.m. so it is her first night that she will be watching Ben since Lucas is asleep but if you guys hear my cat it's my kitten he is literally laying on me so if you guys hear some sounds that is just him moving around so sorry about that but it seems as Olivia is eating, she can hear the baby monitor going off because Ben is awake, so she's gonna head up there. Olivia is entering the room and she sees Ben is crying because he needs his diaper change, so she's going to go ahead and clean his diaper and give him a fresh one. As Olivia is cleaning up, she's realizing that eventually she's going to need a changing table in here, especially when Ben gets to an infant, so she's probably thinking maybe she will move this end table and the stuff over here and just put a changing table over here once Ben is old enough and no longer needs the crib and can go in this crib that is meant for infants. So she is thinking of some redecorations and stuff. But as we're talking about that, let me go ahead and show you guys these. So we have the three sonograms of, of course, Ben when we went to get ultrasounds. And then when he was born, they gave us his fingerprints. So that is so cute. And then, of course, a birth certificate that tells us how much he weighs along with his name on it. So this is extremely cute for this entire room because, of course, this room was done by Isabella. So we're adding our small little touches. So while Ben is sleeping, Olivia has decided to catch up on some reading. So she is doing that in Ben's room so that she can also make sure that if Ben needs anything, she is right there. But it looks like he is actually awake just in his crib. So hopefully he doesn't need anything and we have a smooth night. As Olivia is getting just deep into her book, it looks like Ben is hungry or something. She's not sure exactly what it is, but she'll find out. But she knows for sure it's not a diaper change because Ben doesn't stink. Olivia has decided it's probably due to hunger. So she is going to go ahead and breastfeed him since it's been about two hours since his last feeding. So he probably is hungry. A few moments later. It is 3 a.m. and it looks like Ben is crying now because his diaper needs to be changed. We did feed him around 2 so that makes a lot of sense. So Olivia is giving Ben some attention that he definitely wants and she is going to hope to finish just in time to pick up that diaper on the floor but also she is looking at the time and it's 4 so she thinks she should go ahead and feed Ben because if not, then he's probably going to cry for sure in a few hours. Olivia has gone ahead and is feeding Ben now since Ben is hungry. And it's about 3.30 now, so she wants to make sure that she is giving him some food now since it's been a little bit over two hours. And I think that's why he was definitely crying. But while she was doing that, Lucas actually came in and picked up the diaper for her so she didn't have to worry about it. But Lucas is awake, so Olivia seems extremely tired for sure. You can see the dark circles around her eyes. She is so tired and it seems Ben has has been keeping her hot. So Lucas is coming in to take over while Olivia goes to sleep after he's done taking out the trash. It's about 6 a.m. now and Olivia has gone to eat some food, take a nice hot shower and head to bed because she is extremely tired. And so now it's Luke's turn to spend some time with Ben and bond with him so that they have that bond. It's their first child, so they wanna make sure that they are doing everything possibly that they can do right. 
according to all the parenting blogs and the parenting books that they had read. It's about 7.30 a.m. and Lucas is getting a call from Isabella telling him that they will be there to see Ben because they miss him and haven't seen him since the hospital so they want to come by and see him and Lucas is saying absolutely go ahead and stop by. We will be expecting you. We're at home of course and not going anywhere. It's about 11 and Olivia was able to get a good night's sleep in but Ben needs some breast milk now. He prefers breast milk. She's been sometimes using the pump to put some of her breast milk in the fridge in case she is not awake so that Lucas can still give it to him but I think he prefers it straight from Olivia so sometimes he will cry still while Lucas is feeding him. Olivia just finished changing Ben to a different onesie, one with stars and rabbits all over it I believe but he looks absolutely adorable. Later. It seems Isabella and William are here and they are like, oh my gosh, look at my grandson. It's time for Grammy to give you some much needed love and kisses. I know you have missed us and Olivia is just giving her dad a hug and saying thanks for coming dad. I know mom couldn't stay away so thank you so much for giving us that one day and her dad saying no problem honey hopefully you're able to relax while we're here. Why don't you go ahead and take a nap? I know you are very tired. Oh my gosh, dad. Thank you so much. Lucas and I can finally take some rest while you guys are here. So before Olivia goes to bed while her parents are watching Ben, she is going to pump some breast milk and she is hoping to get a better supply because yesterday when she tried pumping, she had a low supply. So she's hoping to do better with her supply. A little later. But while Olivia is pumping. Isabella is talking to her dad and saying, can you go and get some lactation cookies for Olivia? Because she was telling me she was having a hard time with her supply and I remember the lactation cookies that I had taken when I had her. So can you go ahead and go out and get some and just leave it in the kitchen for her? And once she gets up, I'll let her know that you left some of those cookies for her. And so William is going to go and get those cookies and come back. Later. It is getting late and William is telling Isabella that he is going to head on back home and he will see her when she gets back because he knows that she wants to stay a couple minutes so he's gonna go ahead and head out. Isabella is talking to Olivia and saying I had your dad get some lactation cookies for you because I know you were telling me about your low milk supply so here are the cookies please make sure you eat them so that you have enough milk supply. I had your dad go ahead and get them and Olivia saying thank you so much mom and Isabella's gonna say so what are your plans for taking care of Ben and Olivia saying mom I kind of hadn't thought about that but that is a pretty good plan. I was thinking probably take him to daycare or something. No need to take him to daycare. Why don't I move back into the house and I'll stay in your own room and take care of Ben for you when you return back to work and this will you'll never need to hash out more money. Mom but what about the business and stuff and she is saying Lucas has been actually handling a lot of that so he has been doing so well that I can actually step back and take care of my grandson and get to see you guys a little bit more, especially my grandson. And Olivia saying, wow mom, that would be actually super helpful. Thank you so much. But as you guys can see, Olivia is finally going to grab some of the lactation cookies, hoping it'll help her get her milk supply. But she has eaten a few couple. She is now going to get some food because she is hungry. Many months later. A few couple months have passed since Ben aged up into an infant but Olivia and Lucas look like they have finally gotten their schedules together so Olivia is actually in the bathroom. It's about 4 a.m and she is getting ready because she has been lately going in really super early in the morning so she can get back quick enough and also doing her classes part in the middle of the day so that she has enough time to spend with her son. But Lucas is just waiting for Olivia to get out of the bathroom to use it. Here we are in the kitchen with Olivia. She is actually grabbing some breakfast and then going to head on a ride with midnight before she starts work. She's been doing that lately ever since Ben was born because she is able to finally have time to go on a ride 
Lucas is joining her with his breakfast as well. It's about 5.30, almost 6. The ranch hand will be here soon to help around the ranch because there is a lot of manure around and stuff. So they are still lucky about that. But Lucas is going to go ahead and take care of the garden, make some nectar. Ever since Isabella stepped down and he picked up more responsibility, he's been learning some stuff that is helping William with the business. As we are speaking about the little infant, here we are with Ben. He is super, super cute. He is up and sad because he doesn't like morning wake up. Isabella is here to get Ben up. Here we are with Ben's bubble bath. That is beyond cute. He is super happy. One of his quirks is that he loves being held, which is partly due to Isabella because as an infant, since he, start, he basically started becoming an infant, Isabella has not put him down. And she's literally just held him a lot. So he just loves being held by her. Olivia is heading to classes to teach them. So she is heading out and she won't be back till probably around six. Lucas is at the computer handling more business stuff. While Lucas and Olivia are busy doing their work, Elizabella is over here and he is doing some tummy time with Ben. Ben has gotten some few skills. He's gotten the reach milestone, the smile, the usual, but Isabella is going to be teaching Ben some of the milestones that he needs. So hopefully we get to see Ben crawling around soon. Olivia is back from work and she is actually pumping some milk ever since she started eating those lactation cookies. Her milk has been coming in a lot more. So she has been pumping and Ben has actually been eating it from a bottle as opposed to her since she's not at home more since she started going back to teaching at the equestrian center. Isabella still is doing the last tummy time with Ben who seems extremely unhappy with his tummy time but he has been able to lift his head so that is some progress. We're hoping to get him to do roll over soon so that he will be able to do tummy time by himself in bed also. But this is his last tummy time before Isabella gets him ready for bed because Ben is definitely very tired. Isabella is feeding Ben and then going to give him one more last bubble bath before putting him to sleep. One eternity later. So we are back in the evening and it looks like everybody's walking, watching TV. If you're wondering, yes, Ben is able to crawl now. He's been practicing some other stuff with everybody, but it looks like he's doing another one right now which is the pull to stand. He hasn't done it in front of his parents yet. He's been doing it with Isabella, so his parents are definitely going to be happy to see this. But Ben is definitely crawling around and getting so big, and he literally knows so much thanks to Isabella. But he is actually turning one tomorrow. He is going to be a toddler. It is his first birthday, so they took off tomorrow and they are throwing him a ginormous party with everybody. And so that is going to be the last thing we see from this family before I end this series, this huge ginormous party. The following day. Good morning, guys. It is the special day and Olivia's actually getting Ben up since Isabella is going to be doing a lot of cooking for Ben's birthday. She wants to make sure that Ben has the best of food, so she is going to be doing that. Lucas is turning Ben's bed into a toddler bed since he will need a toddler one, so he is hard at work doing that while Olivia tries to get Ben to stop moving around so that he can eat some food. Here we have Olivia putting Ben in the high chair so that he can eat some yogurt for breakfast. So everyone's gonna start coming in because the party is started. So Isabella is actually gonna start making the cake just after she's done making the food, but look at Ben finishing his breakfast. Isabella put a plate down and told Olivia to try it. So Olivia is trying it, but Isabella is making Ben's blue confection cake for him. And I can't wait to see how this party turns out. 
Isabella has finished the cake. It is finally that time. Olivia is going to go ahead and grab Ben off the floor to blow his candle. Here we go, Ben. Blow out your candle and let's see you as a cute little toddler. It looks like Ryan also came, so this is exciting and cute. Ben just blew out his candle. Everyone is super happy for him. He is actually going over there to age up. There he goes. Look at him as a cute little toddler now. All right, guys. So we have Ben who has aged up into a toddler. He is super cute looking like a cutie, but he will be starting preschool soon and everything. And of course, his grandma is still here to take care of him while he's going to preschool and to make sure that he's got someone at home for him while his parents are gone to work but I will probably turn this into eventually a current household at some point where you guys can see what is going on with them but this is the last that we will see of my writing for dreams let's play I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this far with me thank you so much for watching this short little LP for the horse ranch let's play and I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. I am still, of course, doing Let's Plays and I currently have the Home Chef Hustle one going on right now. So I hope you guys will join me in that one as I venture on the next LP. I will be, of course, starting a new LP since this one ended and it will be a legacy. I will go ahead and let you guys know when I create the cast, what the challenge is called and which one we are doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. I can't believe this family is done for right now. But of course, they are not gone forever. They will be back in a current household sometime soon in the future. So look out for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this LP so much and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this LP, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. Go ahead and leave in the comments if you were here from the beginning or from what episode you basically started off with with me. But I am super happy and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys so much. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.